Hey guys, this is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new, and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, right now, I am outside at a beautiful park, out in nature, to do an emotional healing session with the water element behind me. Water can be profoundly healing on an emotional and spiritual level. The water element governs emotions. So, the first thing that I want to do today is to bless the space with positive intention and Reiki healing energy. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to take this clear quartz crystal point from Brazil and I'm going to direct Reiki healing energy across time and space from me to you through the camera to help heal you physically, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear each of your chakras from your crown all the way down to your root so that you can feel more aligned, centered, and balanced. I'm going to start at your crown. Your third eye, pineal gland, your throat chakra, your higher heart chakra, your heart chakra, your solar plexus chakra, your sacral chakra, and finally your root chakra. Hopefully you feel more aligned and balanced. And what I'm also going to do is a little bit of plucking. I have this piece of black tourmaline crystal in the shape of an obelisk. So since it has the sacred geometry, it's a lot more powerful at plucking away any negativity that may be remaining in your space. So I'm just going to pluck and pull any bad vibes that may be remaining in your space so that you may raise your vibration and have beautiful loving thoughts, gratitude, abundance, joy, unconditional love, and light. The next thing that I want to do is to get out my Archangel Michael card. I was guided to include Archangel Michael in this video today since Archangel Michael is in charge of divine protection and for protecting us here on this earth during this physical 3D experience. Remember we are all spiritual beings spiritual multi-dimensional beings having a physical experience and there is nothing to fear if feeling any thoughts of insecurity or unsafe if you're feeling unsafe in any way 
just know Archangel Michael is here to protect you forever and always. All you need to do is call upon him to come in, protect you, and slay away any negativity. And he will always be by your side and be your guard. You can also pray to your higher power of your understanding or any of the other angels or archangels. Another archangel, another archangel that I love is Archangel Metatron. Metatron is a wonderful protective angel as well. Now Archangel Michael, the one that governs safety, going to battle for us and protection, usually resonates on the color blue, which is why I was also guided to bring out this pendulum, which is a beautiful blue lapis lazuli to help relax and soothe your mind as I read this Archangel Michael card to you so you can have a better idea of what he represents and a simple prayer that you can repeat as I say it out loud. So, Saint Michael the Archangel, here is a prayer that you may repeat after me or say to yourself silently if you may or if you wish. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. So basically this prayer is just calling Archangel Michael in to help eliminate any negativity, bad vibes, or evil vibes that may be in your space and replacing and transmuting that negativity into positivity, love, security, safety, protection, divine beauty, grace, peace, understanding, and harmony. Just know that any negativity can be transmuted into positivity at any time. For the yin-yang symbol reminds us that we merely need to balance the polarities of negative and positive. And that which we focus on the most grows. So if we choose consciously to focus on more positive things in our daily life via positive affirmations, such as I am love, I am health, I am wealth, I am abundant, I am safe, I am protected by the divine forever and always, I am in alignment with my soul purpose here on earth, I am beautiful, I love myself, I love others, and I am a beautiful divine light. Saying positive affirmations such as those will help heal you emotionally on a much greater scale. I say positive affirmations every single day. I have them written down on a piece of notebook paper, folded up, and I leave it on the kitchen counter so every morning I can remind myself to read those positive affirmations as I'm taking my vitamins and supplements. And it really helps set a positive tone for my day. Positive affirmations also work really well with subliminal messages. You can go on YouTube and search subliminal messages and sleep music and you'll find there's beautiful sleep music pieces or sleep music videos that have self-love subliminal messages within them. They really, really help reprogram your subconscious mind while you're sleeping so that when you wake up to do those positive affirmations, it's much easier on your subconscious mind and therefore your conscious mind to start on a positive note each day and to go forth with perfect love, harmony, and alignment. So just know all is well as long as you stay true to yourself and therefore true to others. This blue lapis stone is wonderful for healing our throat chakra region. Now our throat chakra 
governs our ability to express ourselves authentically and from a place of heart. Are you speaking your truth? Are you speaking up for yourself and speaking up about things that are important to you in this world? Or do you feel like you're suppressing some of that sometimes and maybe not speaking up enough or speaking your truth? Be sure that you do whatever it is that you need to do to get in tune with yourself, get in touch with yourself, and take some time to really go inward and think about what it is you wish to share with the world and begin expressing yourself through words, music, writing, singing, any which way you can express yourself, whatever way feels truest and closest to you. Once we heal our throat chakra, we are able to go forward with more confidence. So if you feel like you need help really opening your throat chakra and a more explicit, more be able to express yourself more authentically and openly, go ahead and invest in any blue crystal. I recommend lapis lazuli just because it's been known to go back to ancient Egypt way back when. It's been used for a long, long time by the royalty. This has many properties and a lot of magical powers to it that can really just help make us feel loved and inspired. It's wonderful. And what I love about this pendulum is that there is a chakra-colored stone for each chakra energy center, starting with the crown, which resonates on the color purple, the third eye Ajna Chakra, which is like an indigo color usually, and then we have the throat chakra, which is usually a blue, the heart chakra, which is green, solar plexus, which is a yellow, the sacral chakra, which is an orange, and the root chakra, which is a red. Now these colors can vary depending on where you get chakra stones from, but generally speaking, they're the colors that I've mentioned. And the colors here for the third eye and throat are a little bit different than what I'm used to, and that's okay. It's all about what you assign to them and your positive intention and what your belief systems are. But just know that colors can really help heal us emotionally too. Color therapy. What colors are you choosing to wear each day? For the colors that we wear really can have an impact on how we feel each day and our mood. So really make a conscious decision to choose colors that lift you up and bring you joy so that you can bring more joy to others in this world. Sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light from me to you. Namaste.